Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to my Submagic tutorial. I'll be going through this great tool and showing you how to use Submagic, the features, and just how quickly you can create short-formed content with little to no effort. Before I continue, I do have a link in the description if you are interested in Submagic, as well as a code that I'll give you at the end of this video that will give you a nice discount. Make sure to check it out. So to start off, you want to go ahead and create an account if you don't already have one. And then once you've created an account, you should be taken to their dashboard or something similar. Now it may not look exactly how it looks like on my screen. However, it should give you a prompt to start a new video. If you do have an account already, you can go ahead and just simply click new video. You then want to go ahead and drag in a video of your choice. So I have a preset video here, which is just a clip of Alex Amozzi on a podcast. What I can do is change the name. I can also change it from English to another language. But for the most part, you just want to go ahead and click upload. And then while it's uploading, it's also going to go ahead and generate some auto AI captions for you and your video. So once it's generated, you should be taken to the editing page where you have a couple options here. You have the styles, captions, B-rolls and boost. We're going to go ahead and start off with the style area. So to start off, if we go ahead and play the video. And so a lot of people, when they when they want to sell stuff, they talk about the... As you can see, we are using the Homozy 1 theme which displays its caption and a couple little cool emoji animations. Now what you can do is you can go through these and choose which one you'd like. So personally, I do really like the Himozi one. Um, there's also other options such as the Himozi 2, which outlines it, or there's an Iman type of style um, captions, or there's Mr. Beast. There's plenty you can go ahead and choose between. So now just another little thing. If you look in the top right of certain themes, there's a little emoji indicating that within that theme, there is emojis and animations. However, if you were to choose one without, it obviously won't have emojis. Now you can choose to add emojis to a certain theme or even your own. However, you do have to have an upgraded plan. So do keep that in mind when choosing. So I'll stick with Homozy 2. What I can do here is I can change the color of the main text. So currently it is white. I can change it to whatever I want. So let's say green and there you go, we'll change. I'll keep it as white, I like white. I can change the size of it. I can also adjust the Y position. So up and down like so. So I'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger and then a little higher like so. I can also change the highlight colors. So you can change these to whatever you'd like. I'm going to keep it as is because this is a nice color wave. And that's the style section done. You could honestly just leave it how it is and not have to edit anything. However, I will obviously go through everything to explain it a bit more. So next is the captions area, which is self-explanatory. It just shows you the captions that it's generated for you. You can edit these by simply going ahead and clicking on the letters. So let's say the generated captions weren't correct. You can edit them. Or if you wanted to go ahead and add another line, you can click the plus button and go ahead and add whatever you want to add. Another cool thing you can also do to your captions, as you can see here, there's an emoji. I can go ahead and add emojis to any caption I want. So let's go ahead and use this pre-existing one here. If I play the video, when they, when they want to sell stuff, as you can see, there's a cool little animation with the emoji of choice. Let's say I wanted to change that from my money bag to just the flying cash uh, emoji here. I can click it and then it will swap. As simple as that. And if I go ahead and play the video, when they when they want to sell stuff there you go it adds a cool little animation as well what i could also choose to do is click the little music icon here and then add a sound effect so let's say i wanted to add the money sound effect because there's money being spoken about i can click that and then if i go back and play the video a lot of people when they when they want to sell stuff they talk there you go it adds the sound effect which is really really cool and as i said before you can do this to any clip you'd like now a couple other things you can also do is you can add an emphasis title so if i were to click yes here on the little paintbrush and if I were to play the video, a lot of people, when they when they want to sell stuff, they talk about it makes the background black, which means that it's trying to show emphasis on a certain caption. So this is pretty handy if you wanted to really emphasize a certain part within your video. The final thing for captions is if you go ahead and click add on this add word dictionary, you'll be taken to a page where you can go ahead and add some words that the AI might not pick up or recognize. What you can also do is let's say I speak about money a lot within my clip. I can go ahead and click add word, type in the word money like shown here. And then I can go ahead and choose the money symbol. So now every time I say money within a certain clip that I'm editing with Submagic, it will automatically add the money emoji. And this is a really cool feature that they have. It can save you a lot of time, especially when you're making a lot of short formed content. So I highly recommend having a look into this. And while we are here on the captions area, you can choose to change the format of your video. So currently it's in 19 by 16. I can change it to portrait and obviously adjust it same as a one by one or a 16 by nine so next we're going to go ahead and look at the b-roll area you can add b-rolls to certain captions so for example with this caption here they're talking about checking in their bag so we could have a b-roll of something about an airport or someone driving their baggage through the airport so i'll go ahead and click the plus sign on the left here i'll choose b-roll and then i can also add a transition animation so i'll click the film burn one which i like a lot 
then click the video option here and then type in what I would like. So let's say I want something to do with airport. I'll click search and then I'll go ahead and choose a video like here, click apply and then click apply again. And there we go. We have B-roll added just like that. So if I go ahead and play the video. And so a lot of people, when they, when they want to sell stuff, they talk about the widgets, right? They talk about TSA. They talk about checking their bag and taking their shoes off and who they're going to send. And there you go. It's added the B-roll and it also has the other stuff that we added prior. So this sound effect for the emoji that we added. Another cool thing Sub Magic offer is that you can add auto B-rolls and zoom effects. So as you can see, I've just added it here and it's gone ahead and added some cool B-roll for certain things that are relevant. So for example, here, they're describing the beach and talking about the beach in the ocean. So they have a B-roll of the beach in the ocean. They've added a cool little animation. I'll go ahead and play it now. Yes. And so you should be describing the beach and the ocean. There we go, just like that. And it automatically done it for you. Again, this tool is made and designed for you to have a quick and easy experience while creating quick and easy short form content. So abusing this great little feature can really help you get through these short form content creations really easily. And then finally, we can go ahead and have a look at Boost. So what you can do here is you can get an AI generated hook title, description or hashtags. You can add your own logo and even your own background music. So with the AI hook title, you do have to have a plan, but with the AI description and hashtags, logo and music, you don't. So I'll go ahead and show you how they can generate a quick description and hashtags for you. You simply click these little switch here and it will generate a description with some cool hashtags. Now, would I use this for my own short form content? Probably not. However, it is a good foundation to start at and you can definitely just build off what they have given you. But that being said, if you are making a lot of content, this can be really easy and help you create uh, descriptions and hashtags quickly for any of your videos. Another great little feature is they have a logo and branding area. So you can add your own logo or you can add text. What I like to do is simply just add my channel name here. Then if I go ahead and reposition it, as you can see, it has now added my channel name and I can change the opacity, the size, the position and all of that fun stuff. Next, I can also add music, so I can drag and drop my own music, or I can choose from their library from Premium Music here. However, you do also have to have a paid plan. So there we go, I added a free song here, and I can also go ahead and adjust the music like so. There we go, so now we have music, some great captions with some cool animation, along with B-roll, as well as my logo to make sure no one goes ahead and just steals my content. All of this in a very short amount of time. So let's say I was happy with how my video was. I can go ahead and choose to either save it and edit it later if I'd like, or I can click export. Now you can choose between the quality here. Again, if you did want to get better quality, you do have to upgrade, which I'll explain the pricing in just a moment. And if you do have a free plan, you will have the watermark applied as shown on screen. Again, to remove that, you do need a pay plan. But considering of how much you can get for free and how easy it is to create this quick short formed content, I highly recommend regardless getting a plan to get those extra features to really make sure your content's the best. So I'm going to go ahead and click export now. And there we go. And once it's done, you can go ahead and download your newly generated video. So I'm now going to go ahead and show you the pricing plan. So that way, if you are interested in getting a plan, you can unlock some cool features with Submagic. So there are three plans you can choose between. There is the starter plan, the growth plan, and the business plan. And before I explain these plans, if you do choose the yearly option, you will save up to 40%. If I were to switch that off, as you can see, there is a price increase within each plan. So starting off with the starter plan, this is mainly used for people just starting to create content. You get 20 videos per month, you get no custom templates, and you get two minutes per video. The key features with the starter plan is that you get no watermark, you get AI auto captions, free B-roll, trimming, AI descriptions, and you can have unlimited users within your plan. The next is the growth plan, which is used by 80% of Submagic's customers. This is just a step up from starter. So with the growth plan, you get unlimited videos, five custom templates, five minutes per video, and you get everything in the starter plan. However, you do also get premium B-roll with story blocks, folder management, an AI hook title, it downloads subtitles, custom fonts, and AI auto cut, and you can get subtitles worth 300 minutes per month. Next is the business plan. So if you are an agency or video editing company, you can of course choose the business plan, which with the business plan, you get unlimited videos, unlimited custom templates, you get 10 minutes per video, and you get everything in the growth and plus plan, plus you get 4K import and export, 60 FPS export, and you get a thousand subtitle minutes per month. So again, all of these are pretty self-explanatory to which plan is correct for you. If you are just starting with content creation, the starter plan, if you're trying to grow from being a starter and you're getting a bit more comfortable, definitely the growth. And of course, if you are a whole business, you would of course choose the business plan. So let's say I was interested in the growth plan. I can go ahead and click start now. And then you're taken to the payment page where you need to fill out some basic information, of course. But before you do continue, you can go ahead and click the add promotion code and simply type the code Jack 
like shown. And if you click apply, so as you can see from $408, it has now gone down to $367, which is a great discount on top of the fact that you can get up to 40% if you choose the yearly option. So I highly recommend using the code to get yourself a bigger discount. So that is the end of my SubMagic tutorial. Hopefully I've helped you to be able to create short form content really quick and easy with SubMagic. Again, all relevant links and codes will be in the description down below if you are interested in using SubMagic. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.